today? Hmm, good question. I see that She-Hulk is trending. Take me there. You got it, Pop! Oh, ah, ah! oh what fresh hell has happened here? Oh, the humanity! <laughs> So, the newest trailer for the newest Marvel thing just dropped, and the internet has a lot to say and all fucking nuance has gone out the window. So yeah, okay, we got the trailer for She-Hulk, now being referred to as She-Hulk Attorney at Law. And it all looks suitably goofy and fun and a little bit hokey as well. She-Hulk has always been one of the more hokey Marvel characters, and it definitely seems that the spirit of the comic book She-Hulk is present here. So I would love to give this a rating of, yeah, it's good shit, mate. But since we're only supposed to have a certain amount of nice things, which don't get me wrong, I'm super grateful for, uh, we do have a little bit of a problem here. Mom! I'm scared! Unfortunately, She-Hulk is just looking a little bit too Polar Express. Look, man, I'm a, I'm a Sonic fan. I, I've learned in horrendous ways how important it is to get the design of the main character right. We've been through it. We've seen horrors beyond comprehension. She-Hulk fans, I, I don't know if I can let you go through this again. Yeah, the most common kind of thing here is that the CGI on She-Hulk doesn't really look very good. A lot of folks saying it's bad CGI, and th there's been a lot of different outlets saying how did the studio that got Thanos so right manage to fuck up She-Hulk this badly? The Marvel Cinematic Universe is kind of known by now for being able to get those kind of all CGI characters right, for the most part anyway. All the way through from Rocket Raccoon to Michael Douglas. That MCU, they're, they're doing some pretty revolutionary things with the CGI guys, right? Hell yeah. But uh, with She-Hulk here, there's, there's definitely something wrong with this. This ain't right, guys. This 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 doesn't make me feel good. Now, I'm going to say this straight up. A lot of people are saying it's bad CGI. I don't think it's bad CGI. I just think what they're trying to do with this CGI is a task that they shouldn't be trying to do with CGI. Again, a lot of the complaints are they made Thanos work. They made the Hulk work. They made, like, Rocket Raccoon and Groot work. So how did Marvel fuck this up? Then there's the other side entirely that think all Marvel CGI is bad because they were able to take a still frame from a two second shot that looked a little bit ropey. Or there's the people that are just fucking pretentious about basic green screen shit. As if you could tell. You couldn't tell, okay? You couldn't tell that this wasn't shot on location. Why? Because it wouldn't look any fucking different if it was shot on location. You people are ridiculous. Anyways, reason number one is this is a TV show with a budget quite different to the films, where characters like Thanos are on the screen for just one movie, or maybe two, but they're not on screen the entire time, She-Hulk is the main character of a TV series, presumably six episodes, so six sets of 45 minutes, that's 4.5 hours, that is longer than your average MCU movie. So. Even if it is the same budget, it has to be distributed a bit differently. But I'm going to straight up take budget out of the equation. I'm going to say there isn't enough money you could throw at this to make this work. Because the thing with characters like Thanos and the Hulk, they're not outright humanoid. They might have humanoid features, but they're very exaggerated. Like Thanos is this big green... green? How would I fuck that up? This big purple space alien with a massive fucking ball sack chin. The Hulk has this very monstery Neanderthal sort of look. And even in his new sort of Professor Hulk form, still there is a sort of a, a cartoonishness to him. She-Hulk on the other hand is a taller than average green woman who's fairly yoked I guess. I say that like she couldn't crush my head between her thighs. Okay, look, let me reword. She-Hulk much more resembles a I- traditional? Is there such a thing as a traditional human being? Well, she much more resembles that sentiment than the normal Hulk, or Thanos. And it's like, okay, you can say, what about the CGI on Michael Douglas? That is just, you know, painting out some wrinkles and creases and tightening things up here and there. With this, it appears they've tracked a whole ass new face over onto fucking She-Hulk. Or something? I don't know, I'm getting kind of Son of the Mask baby vibes from this. Oh my god. Remember the baby and Son of the Mask, man. Like, dude. If you had a nightmare, I guarantee that thing's worse. I hate that baby. I hate most babies, come to think of it. I, I'm not a baby person. You're either a baby person or you're not, and, and I've always been more of a puppy kind of a guy, you know? Could you tell? So I think the real thing they kind of needed to do to make She-Hulk work was kind of go the Luferigno route and just green up a regular person. Get someone for the role who's not just ripped, not just jacked, 
a fucking yoke, bro. And let me be clear, that's no respect to Titiana Maslany. Titiana Malaney? The actress. There's no disrespect to the actress. But I feel like this is one of those times where if they wanted She-Hulk to really look right, you'd you'd need someone of a build similar to... Uh, okay, I'm not gonna get political on you guys now, but someone of the kind of build of like Gina Carano, and you stick them in a fuck ton of body paint, and then bada bing bada boom. And I'm not saying that Gina Carano should play She-Hulk, but like someone of a similar build. And I guess you'd be looking at more like wrestlers for that. But then again, Titiana Maslany, Maslany, might just be a better fit for performing that role. It might be one of those things where it's like, you know, the best actor for it doesn't necessarily have the traditional physicality. I mean, look at Robert Pattinson as the Batman. He's not a brick shithouse like a lot of people know Batman to be. But my god, he can bloody play that role. The thing with Batman is you don't need to CGI them up. I mean, you know, he's wearing a lot of armor, you know, like, you, you wouldn't even notice. I didn't notice. I mean, he's still pretty jacked, you know? Anyways, yeah, so, um, I, I think, you know, the main problem here is they're trying to reproduce a human in all CGI, and they're, they're going a lot further with it than they've gone in the past, and it, yeah, it just looks a little unsettling, if you ask me. And I have had friends bring up, like, okay, you're saying they can't faithfully recreate a human being, but look at, like, video games like The Last of Us Part 2 and and stuff like that, and I'm like, yeah, that it's very impressive what they've done with the human beings in that, but if you pulled one of those human models out of one of those games and just stuck them in a live-action environment, it'd be very noticeable. And this is a live-action project as well, so it, it's kind of hard to say what the right thing to do here is. I don't think going the OCG route here was necessarily the right thing. At the same time, there is the possibility that this is completely unfinished. I mean, it's... It's not like that's never happened. You know, you get you get quite a few trailers, you know, with unfinished CGI and special effects in them, you know? With that being said, Marvel CGI, yeah, it can be a little inconsistent. There can be times when it does look a little loopy. Yeah, I'll concede to that, absolutely. But I'm going to maintain that wait-and-see kind of mentality for this, as I always do. Do I think there are ways they could do this in a smarter fashion? Yeah, absolutely. But I can't see Marvel necessarily taking a gamble on a main character looking completely unconvincing and unsettling at all times in their show. Marvel know how to play it safe. But we'll see. If it, if it looks like this for a substantial amount of time in the actual final product, yeah, we, we do have a bit of a problem there. But as I say, we have to wait and see. So with that, I, 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 this video has petered out. It's time for you to go get, get out. But not before hitting the subscribe button and checking out the rest of my Marvel playlist. There's hours upon hours of this stuff. You're gonna love it. And with that, you may leave. So what do you guys think? If you enjoyed this video and you want to support more like it, be sure to hit that big, beautiful subscribe button. And of course, in the description below are links to different social media feeds, including the Patreon. If you're feeling extra generous, like the following people, who are JK Strife, Marcus Ward, Cirrus the Skeptic, Biotin Arts, Mr. SP, David 20 Covers, Sergio, John Comey, Shodin, George is Lost, Legendary Ray Ray, Cheese Master 769, Adam Myers, and Fayalan Schwarzenkraub. Thank you guys, you are the best of the best, but as for the rest of you, Thank you so much for watching, guys, and have a great day. Okay.